Warning, this video is heavily opinionated and may contain salty statements that some viewers find unpleasant. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, my name's Oliver. Today I'm gonna be answering one simple question. Do I regret getting my engineering degree? Now, this is a pretty loaded question and it was actually inspired by someone who left a comment on the channel about six months ago. This comment was very thought provoking and I've been meaning to make this video for a long time now just to talk about the things that I think I could have done better and provide some advice to you on how not to regret getting your engineering degree. So I think a good place to start would be to actually read the comment that provoked this entire video in the first place. And the comment reads, do you have any regrets? Do you feel like an engineering degree is worth all of the suffering? Now, at the time, this question was super thought provoking and really got me thinking. So I responded to the commenter by saying the following. Lol, amazing question. I should make a video on this. And here we are. I could ramble on forever. I don't think I have too many regrets. There are many things that I like about engineering. I'm gonna graduate with a very cool degree. There are times where I'm more into it and times where it absolutely sucks. Being off campus recently definitely made me think if it's worth all the suffering. And I kind of realized that a lot of this suffering is self-inflicted. It's just piling on too many things, trying to compete with other people when I should just take fewer courses, which I now plan on doing, and actually trying to work at my own pace. I'm borderline whether or not it's worth it. It's expensive, but I do feel myself growing and maturing because of it. And I think overall, it will be a good and positive life experience. That's my long and ranty answer. Looking back at my response, I still like it, but I think there are a few things that I would like to change about the way I responded. And so what better way to do it than through filming a video? So let's address the main question again. Do I have any regrets? Now I could give you a million reasons about why I think this or why I think that, but I'm just gonna give you the short and blunt answer and it's yes, I do have many regrets, but I also have lots of things that I do not regret about my engineering degree. Let's talk about the things that I regret first. Back in my day, in high school uh, about four years ago, I was really starting to lose steam in my final year, and I kind of wish that I had taken a year off between high school and university to just give myself a break so I could think about what I actually wanted to do with my future, and in hindsight, I regret not doing that. I think I could have benefited a lot from slowing down, learning about different types of fields and professions that I might be interested in, rather than just doing what it seemed like everybody in my high school was doing, which is doing an engineering degree right after grade 12. That really was the reason why I decided to do engineering, that and my insistent physics teacher who was telling everybody to go be engineers. But even though it would have been nice to take a year and think, I don't necessarily feel like I made a bad decision. I just feel like I didn't make the best decision. Another regret I have, as I mentioned in my comment response, was trying to rush things. Rushing through things has often been a bad habit of mine and it really causes lots of stress and suffering. And in this case, it also messed up my GPA. However much you might hear that your GPA doesn't matter, I think that's complete BS. Pretty much every employer will look at your GPA to gauge if you suck or not. But the fun part about that is that none of them really care how you got that GPA. Obviously no cheating, but if you did fewer courses or you took one or two courses in the summer, they don't really care. As long as you have the GPA, it's really just a superficial number, but it's an important superficial number. Make an employer decide to keep your resume or throw it in the garbage. So it's a pretty important number. So for these reasons, I think it really would have been smart for me to take fewer courses and then catch up during the summers or just to add a semester or two to my degree so that I could actually take my time and get good grades. On top of improving my GPA, it would have also given me more time to do things like extracurricular activities, joining teams and clubs that employers also care about. So I could have had a two for one, but instead I just had suffering and pain. So don't do what I did, take your time and don't rush through things. The other big regret I have is my unwillingness to consider other fields of engineering. Since there is a general first year at my university, you have the entire year to think about what field of engineering you're going to specialize in for the rest of your degree. But I had already decided that I'm going to do mechatronics when I was in high school. Now I'm sitting here in my fourth year and only after having taken lots of courses, doing tons of research and making multiple videos on the subject, I am only now beginning to understand what mechatronics is. 
This isn't really the worst thing in the world because it means that I've just had to research a little bit more to try and figure out the kinds of things I like and I don't like about mechatronics. So maybe I'll be able to match myself with a job a little bit better. But I really wish that in my first year I had talked to other people in other fields of engineering rather than just jumping into the first thing that I saw. As an example, and I'm gonna get completely shredded for saying this because it seems that there is only software engineering fanboys on the internet, but I think I would have really liked being a civil engineer. I have recently found myself interested in real estate construction methods and building random structures, so I think that my interests would have aligned pretty well. But the grass is always greener on the other side, and maybe if I did choose civil engineering, I'd be wishing I chose something else. You can never know for sure. Another problem I'm having now with thinking about going into a software related role is the fact that I'm probably going to be sitting down in a chair for the majority of the day, which to be completely honest with you, I'm not looking forward to. I already have shoulder problems, so I better hope that my health benefits are at least decent. Another couple of fields of engineering I would have liked are mechanical and computer engineering since they're more specific fields and they have more of a history, so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into when you go into one of these fields, or at least that's my my perception. I feel like the path for mechatronics engineers just looks really murky and it feels like you're trying to swim upstream in a really strong current. Meanwhile, I imagine civil or computer engineers know exactly where they fit in and what they're supposed to do. So now let's look at the second half of this question. Do I feel like an engineering degree is worth the suffering? My answer to this is a little different than it was about half a year ago, and it's simply again, no, I don't think it's worth all the suffering. But what I think is even more important to realize is that you don't have to suffer to get an engineering degree. If you go into an engineering degree with the mindset that you have to suffer, you will suffer and you'll make your decisions to back up that mindset. You will manifest your suffering into reality, I promise you. You'll try to do way too many things at once, you'll be taking too many classes, you'll be on too many teams and you won't be able to focus on any of them. So I'm here to tell you from the void of the internet that you really don't have to suffer. There is no rush to graduate university in four years. Take your time, manage your stress, reduce your courses, enjoy yourself and get involved. And if you do all of these things, I promise you, you will not suffer in your engineering degree. Now, because I like to look at both sides of the argument, I also have to bring up an important point and this is tuition and suffering because of student loans. I like to think that about 60% of my education related stress is linked to the fact that engineering tuition is unreasonably expensive. Just tuition fees for one year is $15,000, and if you have to eat and have a place to live, then you're looking at $25,000 if you're frugal. But as I've been told by family and friends, I'm not just going to school to get a return on my investment, I'm going there to become smarter and to learn. I know, it sounds cheesy, but it's true. Another thing that helps me relieve my daily debt stress... <coughs> the stats don't lie. People who hold higher education degrees will usually out-earn those who don't by a pretty significant margin in the range of a million dollars over their lifetime. So in this way, I technically am getting a positive return on my investment, even if I have to suffer and go into a little bit of debt. So if any of you are stressing about your student loans and thinking about how expensive it is to go to university, you're right, completely true. I don't think it should be this expensive, but on the flip side, it will most likely yield a positive return on investment, even if you have to go into a bit of debt. Can't believe I'm saying that. So on that note, we've come to the end of my super long and ranty salt-laden video. I hope from watching this video that you can use a few of the things I mentioned to try and not regret your time as an engineering student or your time in university, and you can avoid some of the missteps that I've made. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.